Hello Magic players, welcome to episode number 33 of the Brewers Tavern. Good to have you all here again. Charles, good to have you here as well. Good to be here for number 33, this should be fun. Yeah, uh, I'm super hyped, 33 episodes so far. Um, today we will play um, something new, I would say. Uh, from, I, I will play a, a deck which I've not seen so far in this kind of combination, so I'm pretty excited to play that. Um, I brought something with Guardian Beast, Millstone and Field of Dreams, which is kind of cool because with Guardian Beast your opponent can't destroy the Millstones and stuff like that. But let's see how this how this works um, in the deck picture, deck tech. Uh, what did you bring today? Okay, and one of the very first episodes I played a reanimator in a black-white shell predominantly with Sangir Vampires, and I had Rituals, and Sarahs, um, and Jazams, a deck where I could both hard cast as well as try to reanimate. And today I'm going to do a different type of reanimator. It's more of the all-in, much higher casting cost creatures, and I'm really going to rely on the Bazaar. And if I can get the All Howls to work uh, more in animates, um, it should be fireworks. If I don't, then the deck just sinks. But um, it's one of the most fun decks to play, win or lose, and I'm super excited to try it. Perfect. So both kind of cool new decks. So uh, let's move on to the deck pictures and talk a little bit about our deck techs. And uh, then let's play some magic, I would say. Sounds good. Perfect. So here we are with my list. Um, as you can see, I try, I try something super new here. Um, I try to make a deck work where you can either win with a uh, Chaos Orb combo or Millstone. Um, I mean, you also have the beatdown option with Elves and uh, Mishra's Factory, but the, the main win condition is here, Millstone and um, the Chaos Orb combo. I also play a Transmute Artifact, so um, it's easy for me to find a Chaos Orb. Um, the, the thing is, when I built this deck, it was not my main intent to make a Chaos Orb deck work because um, for me, the, the Chaos Orb um, combo is a, a secondary combo. I mean, when I can get it, I will take it, but um, the, the main reason I want to play this deck is for sure Millstone and uh, Field of Dreams. Usually you see uh, Field of Dreams and Millstone in a Parfait list, which is uh, white and blue. and um, I really don't want to play a super heavy white blue control because it's kind of annoying to play uh, four swords, four counter spells, four uh, disenchant, and a mana drain. This feels just like the deck, and it for me it doesn't matter how you win with cards which you assemble in uh, in kind of the deck things. Yeah. Um, so far, so good. I have four Elves of the Deep Shadow, which should help me cast um, the Guardian Beast and the, um, and the other four drops a little bit faster. In the sideboard, I try to um, have a little bit against everything, the, the Ivory Towers and the Maze of It against aggressive decks. Maybe you can switch that to uh, two Maze of, uh, three Maze of It instead of the Ivory Tower, but I've not played Ivory Tower since I would say half a year, so I decided to go with the Ivory Tower. Uh, three Crumble against uh, City in a Bottle because you play uh, six cards from Arabian Nights and you really want to cast your Garden Beast to protect your artifacts. Um, the Tranquilities are against uh, things like Mode, Abyss, um, Blood Moon because Blood Moon is also super hard to beat for you and uh, three blue blast also against uh, red blast shatters um, shatter storm all which destroys artifacts basically and blood moon <laughs> as well it also kills mana efficient uh, a talk which is also kind of cool um yeah this this is my list so far um i'm really kind of excited to see how it works because i've never played those cards in this combination together so i'm pretty hyped for the for this match it, it looks super uh, i really like it the interesting thing is just happens um because the matches are kind of random right yeah I mean, we know right before we're going to play but your sideboard is not going to be very useful against me um at all exactly. so your deck is going to sink or swim um 
without much help. I can't see, I mean, the maze, of course, is okay, but everything else um, I don't see is very useful. Um, not that my sideboard is going to be great against yours either, but it will be a little bit more useful. I'm, um, but super cool deck. I can't wait to see what it does. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, I, I really need the this Chaos Orb or the Icy Manipulator early to protect myself from the uh, from the reanimated creatures. If you manage to reanimate something like turn one or two, um, a Zangir Vampire, and I can't destroy it, it's pretty hard for me. The Terrors, um, the, I mean, the PC Plus do some work, but the Terrors are basically useless. I mean, I, we showed each other the list before, and I mean, I saw Zangir and Jusumjin. They are both unaffected by Terror, but I'm... Uh, I think we will see how this turns out. Um, so let's move on to your deck list. Charles, tell us a little bit about your deck. Okay, so this is one of my favorite lists to play. It's super fun. Win or lose, um, getting to use the Bizarre Baghdad is, is just so much fun. Um, so this, uh, as I said, is uh, I'm not going to try to go the hard cast route uh, as a backup. This is much more um, I'm relying on the reanimating strategy. Although I have Aegisam and Sangir, you may be able to get out. Um, this uh, list has one of my uh, favorite cards in old school, Nicol Bolas. And um, it's a reanimator deck that's red, black, and blue. And if this list is not the home for a Nicol Bolas, then it is not a home for the card in old school. So I'll be super happy to hopefully get that one in play. That would be... Uh, the dream game uh, today would be to get it in play and make you discard your hand with uh, getting it hit in. Um, I mean, the, it's a pretty simple list. I, I, I have to start with Bazaar or Library um, in my opening hand. There's no choice. I, if I don't see one of those cards, I have to mull. So if I yep. get really unlucky and I don't see it, then I'm in real trouble. If I have a Bazaar, you know, it, I have a chance and it's and it's off to the races. We'll see what, what we can do. Um, a card I've side I put in the sideboard a bunch of times is Artifact Blast. That I think is a super interesting card, and especially against a beast strategy because you um, once an artifact's out, if you have a beast, I can't shatter it. But I could blast it and prevent it from coming into play. So it's yeah. an interesting. It's an interesting card to have in the sideboard. Um, I'm, I, it's not there for that reason. It's there because I don't really want City in a Bottle played. I mean, the bazaars are really important um, in this build. If I went with uh, either Jalem Tome or Mind Bombs to try to help uh, discard, um, then the Artifact Blast wouldn't uh, probably be in the sideboard. Um, yeah, but th this is this is the deck. Hopefully, um, I'll be able to put something out quickly. Um, I cannot remove the Beast once he's out, um, except for the Chaos Orb Game 1, or if I decide to bring in the Discs in the Discs Game 2. So um, if you race that combo out, I'm in real trouble, and that will be the game. Um, but it's a super fun and interesting list. You have a super fun and interesting list. Super excited to see how the decks do. Yeah, me too. Uh, so we go to the Brewer's Tavern. Let's let's move on to the to the tavern and play some magic here. And here we are. <laughs> but I mean, you need to to keep one thing in mind. If you have, um, even if I have the combo out. Um, you can still play all Hollows Eve and get all their creatures back. Which is kind of hard. One other thing I'll say is this is the deck where if I lose the die roll, it's really okay this match. Having the extra card for Bizarre is super useful. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying I would prefer it because it's almost like a blocker to not let you drop everything and twist or do something broken, so I'll still always choose to play first, but there is a advantage um, going second, unlike almost any other deck other than, I think, land tax. Uh, pile 2. Pile 2? Yeah. Uh, I guess you're even? Yeah. 5, I start. Uh, pile number 2 as well. Yeah. Come on, give me something good. One, two. I try. Mm. 
I'm going to try. Yeah, I want to try. You see, past turn. For turn? Hmm. Bizarre. Yeah. That's cool. Draw two? Yep. We'll discard. You see? I draw for the turn. Sure. Uh, play a factory, play a millstone, and pass the turn. For turn? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Score to Sam? Yeah. And I will discard an emerald. Okay. Play a land for turn. Yes. So, my turn? Yeah. Your turn? Elves. And I try to mill you for two. Okay. A Modi. Pass the turn. Draw two. Yes. Discard. Just Yeah. Do this differently. Um, yeah, I'm going to do this differently. Ritual. Yep. So ritual and for white. So I have three, three black. Three white. Yes. Three black and three white. You have how many cards? Four. Okay. Lands. Okay. Cards. Three lands. Uh, how many cards do you have? No. Zero? Zero. Okay. Would you discard? Uh, terror, Terror, Regrowth, and City of Brass. Okay. I play an elf and attack you for two. Pass the turn. Seventeen. And step, I'll know myself. Yeah, it's funny. I'm doing it for you. Mill myself. It's one counter. Sure. Oh. I'll draw two. Discard your hand. Yeah. Draw two. Yeah. Draw hand. Now your turn. Uh, pass the turn. 
Okay, you're at 19? Yep. Um, okay, trigger on the stack and response, I'll mill. Yep. I'll mill. That's resolved. Yep. Bolas is a ghost because I'm not going to be able to pay its upkeep. I draw a card. Yep. Turn. And uh, it's your turn. Play a land. Pass the turn. Right, upkeep. I cannot pay this, yep. so it's buried. You take a damage from the Juzan. I think that's only upkeep. It's only upkeep cost. Um, any upkeep? Uh, I'm happy on my Modi. Yeah, Modi is tapped. Okay. I'll draw for turn. Yes. Low swing. Activate factory. Okay. Uh, blocked at risk, Kalyon. Okay. Pump the factory. Sure. So we trade. You, you don't. I take nine. Okay, sure. Sure. Uh, you're at ten. Yep. And uh, your turn. I pass the turn. And you're so up fifteen. I tap the Mahamodi. Okay. Draw. Yeah. Going. Go to one. Activate a bazaar. Yeah. Go to. We'll discard. Given. Swamp. And the Badlands. I'm going to go to 14. I'll incest for myself. Okay. Bizarre. Yep. Um, two. And your turn. Hmm. Nope. Nothing which helps me. Uh, another game one? Yeah, absolutely. This you know, these I think are gonna be quick. So I start again. The All Hollows was super good. I mean, it was. It's funny looking, staring at a millstone because you mill me once and you put Mahamodi in the graveyard. I was doing that to myself with the bazaars since I had no hand. It's a yeah. strange, it's a strange matchup with that. That that's true. I really I really need the discs against you. Oh, I can't do anything about that. Disc is really good because then the all house is absolutely useless. Oh, sorry. Uh, pile two. Aren't you impressed? I got the Nico Bolas in play. I didn't. Yeah, that fun? but but only for one turn. It was so anticlimactic just to sack it in the uh, upkeep. Uh, pile number one. You keep it? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep. Oh, be careful, I can almost see your hand. Four. 
Ja. Got you. Discovered. So for oh, I'm gonna discard. Sorry, uh, I'll discard Sorum. Okay. Sorry, I put the wrong card on top, but it does, I think it doesn't matter. Um, I try to mind yeah. twist you for two. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one is the card. Yeah, exactly. Number three and number four. But I guess this is four now. I guess yeah. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's it's fine. Pass turn. of brass, icy manipulator, pester. Mm -hmm. well, you can't believe I haven't hit a creature yet. Amazing. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Your turn. Deck out, I haven't seen a creature yet. Go to 16, play Guardian Beast. Um, mm -hmm. I pass the turn to you, and in your upkeep, I take another damage and tap the UC. Okay. Mm -hmm. Jesus, no creatures? I haven't seen a, I have not seen a creature yet. I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, eighteen, nineteen cards. I haven't seen a creature. And there's fourteen creatures in the deck. Oh lord. That's that's insane. Yep. Uh, one more card I have to discard. Yep. Uh else? Mm -hmm. sure. my turn? Yep. thinking I guess I want to attack you for three play disrupting scepter pass the turn in your upkeep I go to 14 and tap your underground C that's the first damage you've done to me right I think so yes And I will discard one, animate, and uh, okay. Still have not seen a creature. It's really weird. So I draw for the turn. Um. One, just discard a card. I attack you for three. In your upkeep, I take a damage and tap your underground C. Right, well, 
I'll see three creatures. Okay. Cards in hand? Uh, two. Two? Okay. Okay. I mean, it's way too late, though. Um... Mana in my pool. So I can search for artifact with a casting cost 2 now. I go to 12. I go for the orb. I activate the orb on your underground sea. Yeah, we we could we could do good 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 game. I can't do anything. You okay. have a lock and I, I didn't see a creature till hard. That's true. So strange. I I really I saved I saved my transmute artifact. I could cast it on the icy manipulator, but to to find Navindral's disc. But I did not cast it because I thought, okay, even if you reanimate one creature, the icy is fine, and I still have like two rounds time. It, this is the exact amount of time I need to search for the disc and pop it afterwards. I didn't see a creature until card twenty-three. There's fourteen in the deck. That's so strange. Uh, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't put any resistance. It's bizarre without uh, anything to do. Uh, but I mean, so you need strange. to keep the hand with a bazaar because you dig so deep with a bazaar. There's no reason not to do it, right? I mean, fourteen. It's one out of every four cards is uh, is a creature. So yeah, so strange. All right, let's play one more um, pre game. Uh, they're quick, and then we'll do the uh, the sideboards. Yes, of course, we can do that. Um, I will be on the play. Yes. Yeah. I've not seen my uh, field of dreams, even if I run three. Well, hopefully you get that, because that's, uh, that's a cool combo. Yeah, actually, I, the deck is really playing smooth. I can just recommend trying that once. I mean, I don't know how it will be against uh, Disenchant. Uh, number two. L3 for you. Okay. But so far, I just feel pretty, pretty good with it. Uh -huh. oh, I want it. Yes, I want it. I'm going to keep it. Okay. So you start. Lord, no bazaar, Charles, come on. Look at this. It's useless. I don't have blue. <laughs> My turn? No. On a wheel. Lord, this was a good wheel. I have one creature in the yard. Four, five, seven. Okay. Uh, it's your turn? Elf, your turn. Oh. Mm -hmm. Activate. Yeah. One, two. We're going to discard one, two, three. Yes. And um, um, and I'm eight. Moby, and your turn. Play Mudstone and pass the turn. Okay. Go for turn? Yep. Did I draw? Yes. We will discard one. Yep. Two. 
two, and we will discard three. Okay. Swing for four. Time walk. I go to ten and mill my top two cards. Mm -hmm. I draw for the turn. Play a land. Play a lotus. Try to cast uh, icy manipulator. Yep. And pass the turn. Keep anything. Uh, yeah, I tap your. I tap one more emoji. Okay. And I mill myself for two. Oh shit. Okay. Right. Well, activate the Zor. Yes. One. Two. We'll discard one. Two. Three. Okay. Play a land for turn. Mm -hmm. I go to six. Uh, it's your turn. Thinking. Oh, sorry. Need to do it like that. Demonic tutor. Okay. Need to go for the orb. Okay. Orb one, uh, Mahamodi. All right. Pass the turn and tap the other one. Go to four. Go to four. All right. Shop and attack you for six. Fourteen. Pass the turn. Tap the Mahamodi. Your turn. Sylvan Library. Attack you for four. Pass the turn, tap to Mahamodi, go to two. Go to two. Okay. Zor. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Two. Third 
long. This part. You could do six. Yep, that's not going to work. Discard two and discard three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, one second. No problem. It's your turn. My turn? Um, top three. Play Ancestral. Draw three. Play a factory. Okay. Um, attack you four six. And four. And tap the Mahamodi, go to one. Okay. Draw. Yeah. Draw. Discard one. Um. Two. Three. Okay. Um, any way I can survive this? This is a super good question. I was really hoping for an animate, and then I just win. Uh, yeah, I, I know you have a Triskelion. If you, I, I needed to gamble. If if you find in that spot to animate that, I'm dead. I mean. I can't win it on two life, I can't win it on one life, it's just, I'm gone. You can play this, but whatever I do, you get it. I mean, you can play, but... Oh, right, but discard, I'm going to have to just... Talk oh, to yeah, 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 you have to discard everything. Yep, that's true. All right, good good games. I, wow. I told you, this this deck is one where win or lose, the games are like super interesting and super fun. That's true. Whew. Good game. All right. I don't believe your sideboard is good for me. I think it's really bad for me. Man, this is not easy to board. I don't think it's so easy here either. And that was really close. I drew a lot of cards. Did have outs. But I think I, I made my choices here. Oh, I moved the mat. Okay, I'll be on the play. I'm definitely not sure this is right. I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of weird to board. Funny thing is, I'm guessing you're just taking out your millstones, which is... You do, that's really funny because that's your whole deck. I'm not really sure what you would bring in anyway. All right, I'll be on the play. Yes. The thing is with uh, a, a non-white millstone deck, you're not having cards like mode or something like that, which uh, protects you from your opponent's attacks. I mean, in this case, I, I mean, it wouldn't, I have a lot of flyers, so the mode is just like, you know. I, I know, I know. But, but typically, you're right. That takes against most most decks. Uh, 
I won. Uh, Pow, Pow three. Pow three. All right, that last game was awesome. Oh, man, that was a good game. That's true. Uh, that was an awesome start for you. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Me too. Like the first game, the second game. Okay. It doesn't matter. And in your upkeep, end of your turn, whenever it's fine for you, I try to draw a card. Yep. Card your turn. Draw for the turn. Uh, two, four, six, eight, elf, and pass the turn. Two, four, six, seven. Yep, yeah, pass the turn. Response I draw a card. Take five. Come on. It's good. Uh, do I want to use Bizarre? 18. 20. Go to 10. Bizarre? Yep. My turn? Okay. You're at a 10 now. 2, 4, 6, 8. Go. Going. Yep. Um, 5. Obviously, this is very good. Hopefully. Two, four, six, eight. Draw a card. Disrupting scepter and pass the turn. Go to three and pop. Oh, so it was so dumb to play the disrupting scepter. Uh, the mox is gone as well. It was on. Okay. See if I can be a library. Just thinking. Crack for blue. Uh, try to draw five. Okay. No land drop yet. Nothing to oh. do here. Bizarre beat the library. I don't even believe it. The juice and ba beat the library. <laughs> and, and actually, no. the time walk, because when you did not have the time walk, I had five life more. Like, 
I had eight. That with eight, I I would have had a chance with uh, time walk and stuff, but not with five less. To do so was good. Good game. Yeah, it was. Close one. Yeah, they're all close. If Bizarre wins, it's always close. But the the thing is with Jusam, if you play against White, I don't know if you if, if you can win that with Jusam and uh, Ritual. It's probably two for one against the Sword. Yeah, I mean it's it's a uh, it's only a one of that. Ritual. I know, I know. And because I don't want to put too many raping cards, so. Yeah. And the deck really isn't designed to do ritual just am. It's just the rituals are more for the all house. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I can see that. But like if it happens, I'm playing against a deck that doesn't have white and I have the one of just in hand. A pile one. Well, a pile number one as well for you. Pile one for me? Yeah. Okay. You keeping? I keep. I'm gonna keep. No one's had a mulligan this match. Pass the turn. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, you know what I didn't realize, if I draw here I have to discard. Oh, okay, I'll just discard that, that's okay. fine. Oh, uh, what a shame. Your turn. What, a, what a shame, exactly. I should have done your upkeep, I just wasn't thinking. Field, 19. And pass the turn. Alright, draw the... Second to think about this then. Second. Yeah, yeah, no stress here. They play land. Okay. Seven. Go to nineteen. I'm gonna control. Okay. One green, two black, floating. The tutor. Okay. Yes. 
red. Mm -hmm. I'll use all of the red. And we're going to cast wheel. Oh, wow. Good, good. I wasn't even thinking about it. Oh, okay, good. Um, ah, all right, ah, so I have oh, two black. Oh, 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 oh. You activated my trap card. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, your turn. I didn't think you'd bring that in for some reason because I have so few red cards. But the, I mean, I brought it. I brought those in because of wheel the artifact blast. Yeah, yeah, that's the that's the downside of uh, showing sideboards, I guess, beforehand. You wouldn't uh, know about that. Go to seventeen. Mind twist you for two. Okay. Um, three. Uh, the first card nearer to the wheel is number one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, one, two. So just take this one and the other one beside it. These two. Yep. Okay. Your turn. This is gone. Okay. Turn. Regrowth, wheel you for one, uh, mind twist you for one, go to 15. Uh, the left one. Other one, other one, other one. Come on. That's my, that's my right. <sighs> oh yeah, sorry. Like, I, I thought one, two, three, uh, one, two, three is the one closer and then five, six, uh, four, five, six is the other one. Pass the turn. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, play a mox, play a land, and uh, a maze, sorry, and pass the turn. Okay. Sure. Uh, I mill two cards. Okay. And pass the turn. Just mm. one taps for everything. Try to mill to, uh, no, sorry, I pass the turn to you. Uh, try to mill two. Top card. Mm -hmm. Try to mill two. Okay. Mm, pass the turn. Oh no, sorry, I play a field of dreams. Doesn't. Oh no, it destroys each other, right? Yep. Okay, then yep, I do two. not play. Sorry. Six cards, your turn. Are you drawing back to library? Uh, Bazaar's okay, I get. Is Bazaar okay? Uh, Bazaar's okay, I guess. Um, I played the factory this turn. I passed the turn. I'm going to go to a draw. Uh, any effect? Sorry, you you want to draw with your library? I'm going to go um, an end of my upkeep. Uh, but you draw the bazaar. Oh, this was my. Oh, yeah, that that's the. Yep, that's right. Yeah, no, no, sorry, you're right. That was my seven card. Sorry. Yep. Um. I'm gonna pass turn. Uh. End of turn, I mill two. I'll respond and I'll draw a card with library. Oh, you have seven cards in hand? One second. You have seven cards in hand? Yes. Okay, then I will just go to my turn. I'm sorry. I thought you have six cards in hand. That's why I ask you're drawing with library. Yep. That's draw. your turn. Hmm. 
What did you draw? Uh, City of Press. I attack you for two. Okay, 17. I pass the turn. Okay, I'll upkeep or go to my draw step. Okay. Effects? No, draw. Okay. Play a land for turn? Yes. The cards I'll draw. Okay. Uh, yeah, one second, I'm million response. Sorry. Okay, you get them. You get these two? Yeah. I'll draw. Okay. Yeah. What's have... the top card? Oh, sorry. No Bizarre. Okay. I have six cards, Pastor. Uh, in my upkeep, I move myself one, two. Uh, top card, I draw for the turn. Top card, okay. Uh, factory, I attack you for three. Fourteen. And I pass the turn. Okay, um, I'll keep this. Goes to one, yeah. Oh. Mm. The cards I'm going to draw. Mm hmm. Play bizarre. Okay. I draw two. Yeah. Uh, I s yeah. City, city. Yeah, you just showed them both. I need to do the same with ancestral next turn. I will discard vampire. I will discard Modi, mm -hmm. and I will discard a vampire. Okay. And uh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pass turn. Okay. Draw for the turn. I mill two. Sure. Oh, sorry. Sure, top card. Top card. Oh. oh, Lord. What's wrong with me today? Uh, I draw three. One. Two, three. And what's your top card? Good question here. Uh, I play a Sylvan. Go to fourteen, and I play a Icy, and I go to thirteen and attack you. You're at thirteen already. Oh uh, yes. Okay, four or four? Four, uh, four, two. Two, I'm at 12. And I pass the turn. All right, trigger on the stack and with a bizarre. Yep. And I will discard Reich, Trike, Odi. Okay. It's resolved. And your creatures come back into play. Do I have any elf? Elf, and that's it. I mean, this is fun to show on video, right? Yeah. I mean, come on, just a little bit. At, at least all hollows with a lot of creatures worked once, and I hope, I really hope, I find a disc in the top two. Uh, yeah, this is kind of funny, right? That resolves. I draw for turn, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, right? it's your turn, yes. So this, this is my draw, right? I think so. And I have to go to 11. I don't really have much room. Um, after Ancestral, look for the time walk. Mm -hmm. One, 
two, three. We will play a bazaar for the laugh return. And we'll we'll bazaar. One, two, and we will discard one. Two and three. And I have six cards. Oh, wait, this is bad lands. I try to activate Miltstone on myself. One, okay. two. Then I try to look into Sylvan. Yep, I get to see all those. I think um, I think you're fourth. You draw those. I think your your top card shows right now. I think so. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. That's helpful for you with the uh, field. Yeah, field but I think I can I can do anything. I I can get rid of one Mahamodi. I can blue blast the Shivan, but. Still, there's. Oh, sorry. I can blue blast the Sheevan. Yeah, I have ten creatures, so. Yeah, you have ten creatures. I can block. I can take out five, six. But still, the trikes shoot nine damage. I, think I just have to get in with one flyer. Hmm. I think I just have to get in with one flyer because I have nine. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, I take out... I, I can't draw an extra card since I'm at 13. I can take out a Mahamodi and a Shivan. I can just try to do it just so everyone can see how close you can get. Yeah, sure. Um, In case everyone can't follow. Ter Terror, Mahamodi. Okay, Mahamodi's gone. Shivan. Yep. Uh, then I pass the turn. Okay, I would draw this. I in your mm -hmm. upkeep, I tap one Mahamodi. Okay. Yeah. Then I will. I would swing with everyone. Uh, I I block two trikes. I maced the Juzam and still 16 damage are coming through without removing yep. one counter. Yep. All right, good good game. That was uh that's the dream for a reanimator. This is all housing mm -hmm. with 10 big fatties. Th that's true. That that was really that was really uh, the the dream, but I I could do I could do nothing to avoid it. Um, do we play it around an hour or should we do one more? What what uh, I think we can go to the sideboard tech. Okay. Uh, where is the sideboard card I'm looking for? Oh here we go. What do I do here? And uh, you can start if you're ready. Yes. Who's a little I am. behind? Um, I just boarded in four cards. Um, I boarded in the three blue elemental blast because I thought, okay, when he has the artifact blast, which I really need to counter because it destroys my disc, it destroys everything which could help me out of reanimator. Um, I should take those in for sure, and you have like collaterals which you can easily take, like Shivan Dragon. Um, Wheel of Fortune, maybe Sporting Red Blast. So that's why I I've uh, went with the Blue Elemental Blast. The Maze is just a for sure card because Maze is one of the best creature removals in the format. Um, I really also thought about Tranquilities because when he's reanimating early with um, Animate Dead, I can just destroy the Animate Dead. Um, but then I decided not to board out the, the millstones because when I have the lock running, it is kind of hard for him 
to draw out of it. I mean, yes, of course he has the bazaars and everything, but he also needs to discard cards. So um, I thought about it, but then I decided to go with the with the plan of the deck. Uh, Gloom not necessary. The crumbles. I mean, he has Fortress Kellyon, but I don't want to board in three crumbles against Fortress Kellyon. And to Ivory Tower, I de I decided they are probably too slow. Um, and I think I was right with that choice. Um, then I boarded out two millstones because um, instead of four, because I really wanted to um, to have the engine running. And I thought, okay, I think four is uh, too much against the deck, which also wants to get scarred in the graveyard. So I um, I really tried to have just two, and that was I think the right choice. And I boarded out the Psy Blasts because um, they have as much targets as the Blue Blasts. And um, actually they are only destroying Trikes and Zengia Vampire and nothing besides that. So I think it's the right choice to just take them out. Because you basically do not, you're not removing the creatures you really want to remove. Yeah, yeah and, was... and uh, side Blasting a Trike feels really bad. Take five damage. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It it's really bad. It's um, five. Yeah. I was really impressed that you brought in the the uh, the blue blast. I was not expecting that. Like when I had to decide on the creatures, I decided I think three Modis and two Chivons, just because I was I think blue blasts are much more common than red blast. Yeah. So I figured I even though Chivons a better creature, right? Because you can pump them, um, and that was really good because I brought the wheel. I got really lucky that game and I was so not expecting that. So that was really good. Um, so boarding out, the deck is really tight because you really have to have the, re the eight reanimating cards. I need the dark rituals because I'm throwing lands away. So I'm not going to get four mana probably. I need the ritual. So it's really tight. So I had to take out the nickel ball in game twos. I just didn't have a choice. Um, I would have loved to have got this out game one where I could pay its upkeep. Um, and I figured one ship on um, because you're playing blue. So in case you do bring a blue blast, this is a feel bad card for six mana to get it destroyed. Yeah. And I can go down one land. Um, the artifact blast I thought would have been the superstar. Um, I'm not as worried about bottle in this case because you have um, the beast. But if you have a beast out, I can't remove the artifact. You know, shatters are just real feel bad once you have beast right so yeah i figured this was my play and i know you play discs but if you don't have the combo out this would remove everything so I figured a single copy this probably made the deck stronger and then i never saw the sideboard cards after boarding and i just saw just the gas of what this deck wants to do game one so in the end it you know didn't really affect it um i'm really glad to have played kind of the all-in reanimator where I'm not planning on ever hard casting. I guess I have a ritual in one Jazam that that you know did well, but basically that's not my plan. Um, as well as the white black kind of version that we played early, in an earlier episode. Yeah, um, your your deck was super cool. I think you got super unlucky playing against this deck where you want to take out millstones. I mean that's really unlucky. It's the yeah, only but... deck where millstones like are maybe coming out. So that, that kind of was super unlucky because your combo of the Field of Dreams with a Millstone, um, not in the white blue shell, um, with the Beast Orb was a really, really cool deck. Um, that, that some version of that might have to appear again because if you were playing anything but this deck, um, I think it would have been much, much more dangerous game game twos. Um, That's true, but all, I, I did not lose every game two, and it's it's okay. I mean, if I'm a little bit more lucky, I mean, basically I play three discs main board. If I can just make it happen and that one disc hits the board i'm pretty safe um listen this was this was good just to have a a, a few free winning games the last bunch of episodes um the decks have not worked out as planned you've uh you've That's done really true. well so that, man I, I just a random uh, just one game has been uh uh what i've been able to pull off the last bunch of episodes so it was true. nice to be able to showcase more what what uh the deck i wanted to Play, to be honest, do. the only card I would change in the main board is the, uh, in the sideboard is the ivory tower. It's just too slow, and you have no draw engine. I I would rather go with the with the maze of it. Just three maze towers. 
better in the white blue control version where you can kind of sit back and wait then yeah. with what you're having to do so i kind of agree with that um, i mean i had three glooms too i'm worried about white as well so like we're both yeah, yeah i mean that th this kind of deck without counter spells probably loses against disenchant so you really need the glooms just to make sure that your opponent is not destroying everything you're playing uh, Mija, this was a really fun episode. Thank um, you very, looking forward very to much. the next one. I hope the viewers enjoyed it. I hope everyone's subscribing. Yeah, uh, we're getting more subscribers, which we're very happy about. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, and uh, we hope this goes on because when we reach the two hundred subscribers, we will give you f more free patches. <laughs> the other ones are, by the way, in production. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode when the Brewers Tavern's calling again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.